Hey everyone, welcome back to Rig Take Stacking. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about uh, ways you can test your silver to make sure that it's the real deal and you don't have any fakes in your stack. Uh, now, I will be showing some examples of how you can do that, but first I'm going to go over some that uh, I don't have in front of me to show you. And uh, one of them is the best way that you can do it is uh, getting one of those uh, Sigma Analytics machines. Uh, now, I do know that there are other companies that make these machines, but uh, Sigma, in my mind, is kind of like the, the Kleenex of the precious metals authenticators, you know what I mean? It's the one that pops in my head. And uh, even though there are other machines, Sigma is what comes to mind. And uh, they are very expensive. So if you do have the budget and the money to go out and get one for yourself, then uh, more power to you. Uh, but you know, this is a very good way to test your metals. And uh, I'm assuming most of the local coin shops will at least have a version of this, if not the Sigma and then another machine. And uh, if you have a good enough relationship with them, then you can probably uh, go ahead and uh, bring in some of your metals to test out. Even if you're not purchasing at that uh, time, if you have a good enough relationship that you've built up with the owner, he'll probably have no problem testing uh, a couple of your coins on a day you might not be making a purchase from him. And another way I'm not gonna do it, just because I didn't, I tried it out and I couldn't really get it framed properly here and uh, I don't really like messing around with my uh, my silver and water that's just a personal preference but uh, one of them is the water displacement test and I'll leave a link down below if you'd like to read into that more uh, but on this video like I said I just couldn't frame up the video right and uh, just as a personal thing I don't like uh, don't really want to dip my silver into water but that's just me getting into today um, I'm going to show you a few ways to do it and one of them uh, the one of the one of the ones that I like the most is the ping test because one, I love having the coins and just having them in my hands. Uh, but the ping test you'll be able to hear is uh, when you hold it just kind of on your finger there and you take another coin and you hit the side of it, you'll hear a, a high pitch ping, but it'll, it won't just dissipate. It'll kind of elongate. You'll hear it. See that sound goes on for a while. It's a, it's a resonating ping. That's the sound you're looking for. I'm gonna do it on this one too. There you go. And different coins have different pings. Like this is a smaller 50 cent. You can see the size, the difference, the makeup, the composition of the coin is different. And then you'll hear, it's a different ping, but it still has that same resonating sound. And as opposed to, I have a toonie here, a Canadian uh, circulated toonie, which is not silver and you'll hear it's just like a thud see that's the sound that if your silver coins are making that then this is going to be a very big heads up that your coin might not be authentic if you are tapping an american silver eagle and it sounds like this when it should be sounding something like this because like i said the different silver pings do make a different pitch but it's that long resonating pitch that you're looking for. So that's one of the ways of the ping test. And uh, like I said, I do like doing that one because I like playing around with the silver. Uh, but another way you can do it is uh, with a magnet test. Now, unlike me, you do not have to get the world's smallest magnets. I am an idiot and I didn't really pay attention when I was buying them off of eBay uh, just to how small they were. Uh, but they do do the job. They're rare earth magnets. And so yes, getting into the magnets, I'm going to show you putting it next to the uh, toonie here. It sticks to it. So and you got to pull it off. That's what will happen when the coin is magnetic. So if this happens to some of your coins, then uh, you have a fake silver coin or gold. You know what I mean? I'm primarily talking about silver, uh, uh, but it happens with gold too. Yes, with the magnet test, you'll see if I were, I don't have any fake coins, which is good. So I'm just using this capsule here. If I were to just tilt it and have it drop down, drop straight off the coin, no resistance, no anything. But comparing that to a real silver coin, First off, it's not magnetic, as you can see. But when you tilt it, it's not just gonna free fall down. It's gonna just slowly slide down the face of the coin like that. And that is what's... Now, I can't explain perfectly why this is. I do know that it's caused by something called an eddy current. And uh, there's very good videos of them showing them dropping uh, rare earth magnets down a copper tube. And you can see that it almost looks like it's floating in midair. I'll leave a link down below so you can read a little bit more about why this reaction is taking place. What is happening on this coin to make it look like it's, you know, you know, heavy with the viscosity on here. It looks like I said it's going through maple syrup or molasses. 
uh, that is a very distinct feature with the silver coin is that it slides like this. So yes, that's another good way to test your silver uh, and you're not gonna break the bank, these magnets. Not these particular ones, like I said, these are the smallest ones on earth. And a good, another good way to do it is uh, with the um, calipers. Now these aren't very expensive at all, these calipers. I actually bought it off of eBay and got eBay bucks on them. Unfortunately, it looks like the eBay bucks are no longer in, uh, in usage. They got rid of uh, uh, the eBay bucks program. Uh, but yeah, getting these digital calipers is a very good way to test your silver too. Because if you look online, if you look at any places where you're buying your silver, it will give you the specifications of the coin and one of them is the diameter of it. I'm throwing up the specifications of the maple here so you can C, and then I'm just going to put a maple in between here. Careful because you know it can uh, scratch the coin if you're not careful. I'm kind of looking over top of the camera while I'm doing this. You see it's 97.9 so it is very close. Sometimes it's not absolutely dead on perfect if it's like a couple of, if it's a decimal point or so away it's uh, acceptable. But if it's supposed to be you know uh, like the American Silver Eagles are 40.6 and if that one say it was like 42 then you know that would be cause for concern. But uh, with this little bit when we're talking millimeters there, decimal points of the millimeters, uh, it's acceptable. So as you can see with the calipers here, the digital calipers does a good job measuring the diameters of the coin. Okay, and of course another way that you can test your silver at home is uh, with a scale. Just like with those specifications that I put up for the diameter of the coin, it will have what the coin is supposed to weigh uh, as well. Now with the majority of uh, coins that I have, or the majority of coins that people stack, you're looking at the one troy ounce. So I'm going to go ahead, this is already set to one troy ounce, so I'm going to put that down there. And this is uh, 1.003 troy ounces. So that's 0 0.003 is fine, you know, that little bit left over. This is a four nines coin, so it's not 100% silver because there's one troy ounce of silver in this coin. So if this was, was a 100% pure, then the number would be one. But since it's not, and it's that refined nine nine four nines, uh, that little 0 0.003 is just uh, the, uh, scarce amount or the little amount of what's left over, mainly copper. So uh, that's why you'll see when it's 1.003, it's, it's not a big difference. It's not like, oh, it's overweight, it's a fake coin. If it was something like 1.3, then yeah, it's not something to worry about. But when we're talking about the third decimal point, you know, you're, you're good. And these scales are cheap, you know what I mean? You can pick them up off of Amazon or eBay or, uh, you know, wherever. You can find these all over the place and, uh, you know, you're not going to be breaking the bank on them. So, uh, same with the calipers. Like I had mentioned, I, bought, I picked up the calipers for under 20 bucks. And as far as the magnets go, they are relatively inexpensive as well. And uh, you're going to want to be looking for something that's more along this size. I do know that this is a battery. This is actually the spare battery that came with the calipers. But I'm just showing you as far as size goes. Uh, as a, I didn't really pay attention when I was buying these. And I ended up buying the smallest magnets on earth. Uh, but yeah, if you can, try and get something that's a bit bigger. And even if you just get one or two, you don't, I had, a, these came like a uh, hundred, you know what I mean? I already lost a couple just because they break off and fall and roll behind the bed or whatever. Yeah, if you can get some magnets in that size, that would uh, be the best. But anyways, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments what you do to test your silver. Uh, like I said, I have talked with some people that do own their own Sigma machine or the uh, another version of it. And uh, for me, that's just not in the budget right now. And uh, I am comfortable with the ways that I have to test for uh, you know counterfeit goods. And uh, if things do move forward and my stack keeps growing and uh, I do happen to end up with some extra cash, uh, Sigma machine would be a very good investment uh, for any serious stacker. Um, but like I said, with these examples here, you can uh, you know test your silver and not need to break the bank when you're first starting out. But yeah, like I said, just rambling on right now. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you come back for the next one. Thank you.